Hello, humans, aliens alike, leprechauns, chairs, wizards, and anything that's interested in the Surge Modular system. Today we're going to talk about my favorite Surge module, the Dual Universal Slope Generator, regenerated by random source for an astonishing tracking of five octaves as an oscillator. And right now it's getting used as an envelope generator. Wait a minute, I don't think I got enough Surge in this patch. Let's fix that. Ah. Now that's better. Every sound is coming from the Surge modular system. We're going to break down this beat and show you what each sound is made from. Okay, first we got the kick drum. One side of the universal slope generator is being used as a pitch envelope. The other side is the oscillator that it's hitting. Now we got an envelope hitting a VCA for the volume. Next up we got the snare drum. The snare is a resonant equalizer, my other favorite Surge module. Nice hi-hat. Resident Equalizer, my other favorite surge module. Last we got the VCFQ. That's a click. Let's not get distracted too long. This video is about the dual universal slope generator. Let's drop that kick. Let's turn up the bass. So the way I'm creating this sound is I have the right side in cycle mode. And what I'm doing with it is I'm making the waveform of the rise and the fall. Now it's time to get rid of some of these patch cables, patch it up with the oscilloscope so you can see what I'm doing. Let's also get rid of some of this other junk. That'll make it easier to understand. With the rise and the fall knob straight up, it makes a triangle wave. As I turn the knobs, it changes the wave shape. One is the rise, the other one is the fall. One adjusts one side of the wave, the other adjusts the other side of the wave. As I hit the switches, they adjust the shape of the rise or the shape of the fall. We have an exponential switch in each direction. As I reach for the attenuverter above the rise or the fall, it adjusts the slope of the waveform in either exponential mode. And I can mess with them a bit and get a pretty interesting looking waveform. I should mention that we're looking and listening to the bipolar output, BP out, in the middle. On the left of it, you have the normal out, which is used for envelopes, and only goes in the positive direction, but can also be used as an oscillator. And that's on the right side, and on the left side, you have the unipolar normal output, and you have a pulse out. So effectively, that means you have two oscillators, one on the left side and one on the right side, both with fully adjustable waveforms. And of course, you can combine these two things to make a duophonic synth. Now, whether or not that's a duo voice mono synth or a duophonic synth, of course, depends on what you have. <laughs> cycle mode of the right side and now I got my duo voice mono synth. So with the rise knob turned all the way to the right and the fall knob somewhere around the middle you get a sawtooth wave. In order to keep this video relatively short I'm going to list off a couple of this module's functions. You use it as an envelope follower. You can use it as an envelope. You can use it as a low pass gate, you can use it as a filter, and of course you can use it as an oscillator, complex oscillator at that, with a pulse out. On its own, this module provides the means for basic synthesis. You have two functions, that are multi-functions, so you can use a variety of combinations with just this one module to create some basic synthesis sounds. Well, I mean, highly complex basic synthesis sounds. So it's a super versatile module and it's a monster at creating bass. One of my favorite modules. Here's the pulse wave. So I'm not modulating it, but all you have to do is plug a cable into the rise of the fall and you have pulse width modulation. Let's not forget to make some music and have some fun. Ciao.